Welcome to a world that offers improved glucose control so you can enjoy a lifestyle of greater freedom and flexibility. Whether you have chosen an insulin pump because of its convenience or to reduce the severity and frequency of high and low blood sugars, your Minimed Paradigm Veo insulin pump will be a valuable tool in helping you manage your diabetes. This training is intended to supplement the personalized training provided by your healthcare provider. If you have your pump available, we encourage you to follow along and practice the training exercises before you attend your in-person pump training. Make sure you are not connected to your pump while you practice. This part of the training will go over some optional features that can be used on your pump. Most people prefer to use these options after they are familiar with the basics, but some people want to start using one or more of these features right away. Talk to your healthcare provider about the right time for you to start using these features. Remember that there are three types of bolus, normal, square wave, and dual wave. Up to this point, you have delivered only normal boluses. Let's discuss square and dual wave boluses now. A square wave bolus delivers a bolus of insulin over an extended period of time. A square wave bolus can be set up to deliver over a minimum of 30 minutes all the way up to 8 hours. The square wave bolus feature was designed for people who have a medical condition that delays the digestion of their food. However, some people choose to use a square wave bolus when they are eating an extended meal or snacking over a long period of time. A dual-wave bolus combines a normal bolus, which is delivered immediately, with a square-wave bolus that is delivered over a period of time. The dual-wave bolus was designed to cover meals that are both high in fat and contain carbohydrates such as pizza or fish and chips. Before using this option, remember to consult with your health care provider and discuss the best way for you to use the square-wave or dual-wave bolus options. If you want to practice using this feature, the first step is to turn on the Dual Wave Square Wave Bolus option. In the Bolus menu, select Bolus Setup and press Act. Then scroll down the Bolus Setup menu to select Dual Square Bolus and press Act. Now select On and press Act again. The feature is now on. First, we'll program a square wave bolus. For this training, we will demonstrate programming without the bolus wizard feature. For information about setting a square wave bolus with the bolus wizard feature, see the user guide. To start, press the Express Bolus button or choose Set Bolus in the Bolus menu. The Bolus Type screen will appear. Select Square Wave Bolus and press Act. The Set Square Wave Bolus screen will appear. Enter the amount of insulin you have determined for the Square Wave Bolus units and press Act. Now the Square Duration screen will appear. Enter the amount of time over which you want the Square Wave Bolus to be delivered and press Act. The Bolus Delivery screen will appear. While the bolus is being delivered, the screen will show the type and amount of the bolus for approximately 30 seconds and then go back to the home screen. The home screen will display an open circle indicating that the pump is in special mode. The pump will beep or vibrate at the start and end of the delivery. Please note, if you have the bolus wizard feature turned on and you have a high glucose, square wave bolus will not be shown as an option. You can practice programming a square wave bolus now if you like. Please ensure that you are not connected to your pump while you practice. When you are ready, click Next to continue. For a dual wave bolus, programming is similar. Press the Express Bolus button or select Set Bolus from the Bolus menu. Then select Dual Wave Bolus on the Bolus Type screen. The Set Dual Bolus Total screen will appear. Enter the desired amount for the total bolus units to be delivered and press Act. On the next screen, use the Up and Down buttons to change the normal and square portions of the bolus desired. Then press Act. 
Now, enter the length of time for the square bolus on the square duration screen, press ACT, and the bolus delivery will start. If you are practicing with your pump to prepare for training with your healthcare provider, try programming a dual bolus now. Please ensure that you are not connected to your pump while you practice. When you are ready, click Next to continue. The Easy Bolus button provides a way to deliver a normal bolus by pressing the up arrow when the pump is on the home screen. You can program the pump so that each press of the up arrow button increases the bolus by a fixed amount, called a step. You can then easily enter your bolus amount with a few presses of the up arrow button. To set up the Easy Bolus function, first check to make sure it is turned on. On the Bolus menu, select Bolus Setup and press ACT. Then scroll down the Bolus Setup menu to select Easy Bolus and press ACT. Select On Set and press ACT again. The Easy Bolus entry screen will appear. Now you are ready to set the step value, the number of units added to the bolus amount each time you press up. You can use any value from 0.1 to 2.0 units, but be sure to make it a number that is convenient to use and easy to multiply. On the Easy Bolus Entry screen, enter the value you have selected and press ACT. Your Easy Bolus feature is ready to use. If you would like to practice Easy Bolus Setup, Take a moment to do so now. Please ensure that you are not connected to your pump while you practice. When you are ready, click Next to continue. To use the Easy Bolus function, go to the Home screen and press the Up Arrow button. The Set Easy Bolus screen will appear and the step value will be flashing. Press the Up Arrow button. The bolus amount will increase in steps until the desired bolus amount is reached. Then, press ACT. The pump will now count back in beeps or vibrate the number of steps you have entered. If the number of steps is correct, press ACT to start the delivery. When you first use the Easy Bolus feature, watch the screen as you press the up arrow button. You'll learn that a different beep will occur for each step. The BG Reminder feature can be used to remind you to check your blood glucose a specified length of time after a bolus has been delivered. We'll look at how this reminder can help you and how to set it up. When you deliver a bolus, you may want to check your blood glucose an hour or two later to make sure you gave enough insulin. You can program the BG Reminder to beep or vibrate at a specific time following a bolus. To use the BG Reminder feature, you first need to turn it on. On the Bolus menu, select Bolus Setup, select BG Reminder, and press ACT. You will now be on the BG Reminder Setup screen. Select On and press ACT again. Once the BG Reminder feature has been turned on, each time you program a bolus, your pump will ask you for the length of time after the bolus you want to be reminded to check your blood glucose. To program the reminder, simply enter the length of time, 30 minutes to 5 hours or none, on the BG Reminder Duration screen and press ACT. If you do not want a reminder for that bolus, simply press Escape when the BG Reminder Duration screen appears. Turn on the BG Reminder feature and practice setting a BG Reminder now. When you are ready, click Next to continue. The Missed Bolus Reminder feature is designed to notify you when you do not deliver a bolus during a specified time period of the day. You choose the time period and set a start and end time for each time period that you want to be reminded to give a bolus. The pump arrives from the factory with this feature turned off. To turn this feature on, from the main menu, go to the Bolus menu and press ACT. Select the Bolus Setup menu, press ACT, then scroll down and highlight the missed bolus reminder. Press ACT and select On Set and press ACT. 
Once the missed bolus reminder option is turned on, you can add, delete, and review missed bolus reminders. To set a reminder, from the missed bolus reminder screen, select Add Reminder and press Act. The start time will be flashing. Use the up and down arrow buttons to adjust the start time in 30-minute increments. When you have set the start time, press Act. The end time will be flashing. Set the end time in the same way. Your pump will allow you to set as many as four missed bolus reminders. To delete reminders, select Delete Reminder from the Missed Bolus Reminder screen and press Act. Highlight the bolus reminder you want to delete and press Act. You can review reminders in the Review Reminders screen on the Missed Bolus Reminder menu.